All right, let's see if that can work. Hopefully we have sound now. Sorry about that. Um, all right, so uh, I apologize if you haven't had any sound here. I'm not sure why my headphones didn't kick in, but there you go. So um, we have Adam and Steve uh, who will be talking about platform engineering later on, uh, and they'll be talking about a whole bunch of a range of things there. And then uh, wrapping up um, the list of webinars we currently have listed, we'll have an Octopus 101 session where you basically can kick the tires and see how things are going there. So what I'm going to do quickly here is I'm just going to check the status of the stream and I will do so by just navigating to a little, little area over here online. Let's make sure that we can hear our stream. Great. Awesome. We can. Uh, great. So um, make sure. Yes. Thank you, Jonah, for letting us now, <laughs> letting us know now that it's working. Thank you very much. I apologize for that. I'm not sure why it didn't work. Anyways, um, anyways, my, my name's John. I guess you must have missed the intro. My name's John. I'm Community Director for Octopus Deploy. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Um, we have a lot of great events coming up. I'll just briefly just re-highlight the one that I mentioned here, which was shipped. This is occurring on November 15th, and registration is currently open. We have a bunch of great speakers listed on our website. We have a lot of folks who are be talking about a great number of things. We're we'll talking about Kubernetes. We're we'll talking about GitOps. We'll be talking about deployments to multi-tenant. Uh, Etc. So this is live. This is this is why these things are live because uh, you get to experience the technical snafus that we all have. So that's awesome. So there's our webinars coming up for uh, the next week or so, and we have some other ones that we'll be adding very soon. So stay tuned to that. If you want to find out more, you can go to octopuscom webinars and there you'll see the list of webinars. In addition to that, we have all the recordings of our previous webinars, including one that we recently did with Aptum, uh, one of our partners. Uh, we have webinars uh, fe featuring uh, various uh, folks who have been really successful building and deploying with Octopus Deploy. Um, we have a variety of product updates as well. Um, so if you're feature, if you're uh, if you're interested in a feature that we cover, we cover those in a variety of webinars as well. We have all our town halls there, etc. So that's octopus.com/webinars. Check it out. That's awesome. We also have events, so not just the virtual, but in person as well. So um, we actually have a number of events that we'll be doing over the next few weeks. Um, so we've got a partner event in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, which we've just just done um, with Solidify. Um, we have a number of events that are occurring in the U.S. So there's Multi-Tenancy Con, KubeCon, Tech Bash, and also in um, San Francisco, we're super excited about this, is GitHub Universe. So if you're in any one of these cities, either Chicago, uh, and you're in a Pennsylvania area, or you're in San Francisco, feel free to drop by, join one of these events. We'd love to see you. Um, so Multi-Tenancy Con is going to be um, sort of a side shoot of KubeCon. KubeCon North America is a massive event. Uh, focus on Kubernetes, etc., and we'll be part of that. We were at KubeCon EU, and we had a great time, so we'll have a booth there. That's in Chicago on November 6th. Tech Bash is another event that's occurring. Uh, Bob Walker, our field CTO, will be there, and so you can go ahead and check that out. And then GitHub Universe, as I mentioned earlier, that is another big event that we're really excited about. That's on November 8th to 9th in San Francisco, and we're really keen on this. Um, we will have a booth set up there, and we hope to see you there. And then for those folks who happen to be in South Australia, uh, we'll be at DDD Adelaide. So um, check it out if you're so inclined. Or you can fly over if you want. That's a great event to check out. So those are our events. If you want to find out more, you can go to octopus.com slash events. We also have our roadmap. I've mentioned this repeatedly, but I'll mention it again, roadmap.octopus.com. Uh, please feel free to make this a bookmark. So um, we have a number of uh, features that we've recently shipped to Octopus Cloud, and I'll demo one of these features in just a second. But um, just to kind of let you know, uh, we've recently added some capabilities to, for example, uh, our tentacle. So tentacle resiliency for unreliable networks, this is basically an ability for us to be um, a little bit better in the face of high latency um, sort of flaky networks. And so typically what you would see as a side effect when this occurs, when you see tentacle being unable to connect back to server, is you'd see deployment failures, you'd see timeouts, etc. And so what we've done now is we've added a uh, more resiliency to the way in which Tentacle will connect and stay connected to uh, server. And so this is now available for folks who are running Octopus Cloud and uh, feel free to check that out if you're so inclined. We also have a, another feature that we've added, which is contextual information for target roles. I'll show this off in just a second, but what this does is if you hover over a role, it will show you both the target and environment that that role is associated with. Uh, so this is nice because it gives you a little pop-up 
and that's really cool. Uh, and then finally, and I, we've talked about this a lot, you also have the ability now to connect tenants to multiple projects. Um, this is really great when you have tons and tons of projects or tons and tons of, of tenants or both, and you want to connect those tenants to multiple products, uh, products, projects on mass. And so this is a capability we've recently added. Um, these are other features we've now added to our released tab on the roadmap. We also have our planned features as well. Some of these I've actually seen demos of, they look fantastic. And so if you're at all keen, um, you can check out our planned tab. These are the ones that we're currently iterating on, working on. Some of these will actually appear quite early. Uh, we'll have a, um, an early adopter program or EAP, and you can um, opt into utilizing some of these capabilities. But for example, um, an Octopus agent for Kubernetes, this is something that we've talked about on our YouTube channel, which I'll show in a second. Um, a GitHub app is something that we're currently activate, actively working on at the moment. Um, OIDC or Open ID Connect, which is a protocol for connecting two uh, systems in play to trusted parties. Um, this is really important for building um, systems without the need for, you know, auth tokens, etc. Well, it generates an auth token, but you don't need an API key, etc. Um, and so this is really nice. This is a feature that a lot of customers have wanted for a while. So these and other capabilities we're currently adding, and they are on our planned roadmap. So go to planned here at the top. Otherwise, you can also submit your own ideas. So if you have an idea for a feature, let us know. Uh, you can you can also vote on these features as well. So they have the ability of voting for these features. So please let us know what you think. Send us, send us your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. And then also we have our under consideration tab. Um, this is stuff that we hear a lot about and is something that we're constantly thinking about. Some of these features um, are a little bit diff a little bit more difficult to implement than others. So that's part of the reason why they're on our under consideration. There's a lot of potentially architectural changes that have to occur, but there you go. But our planned and release features are certainly there, and we've shipped a lot since we've introduced the roadmap. So there's lots and lots of features for you to check out. So again, roadmap.octopus.com. Let us know what you think. Over the past month, we've had a lot of writing up on our blog. Um, we have um, a lot of posts that you can check out. We've been talking a lot about things like platform engineering, multi-tenancy, and the like. And so if you're at all interested, you can go and check this out. It's up at octopus.com slash blog. And there you'll see a bunch of articles. The most recent one here is from Steve, who we're talking about platform engineering. Steve, as I mentioned, will be talking about this with Adam on a upcoming webinar tomorrow. You can register for that up on our webinars page. But basically what Steve is um, talking about here is basically the need for platform engineering to be part of DevOps. Some people would say that platform engineering is an extension or refinement of DevOps. Um, but platform engineering is this idea that, um, you know, you, you have to, when, when working on uh, software, um, there's a lot of different ways in which you can obviously move towards a solution. And platform engineering is a philosophy uh, that basically espouses this idea that teams should be self-serving, that they should have um, the ability to stand up infrastructure easily. They should be able to do testing and deployment, et cetera, easily. They should follow what's called a golden path to a, um, a good sort of uh, workflow. Um, and so platform engineering espouses a lot of these things. To some people, it sounds a lot like DevOps, and, and you'd be right, but there are different metrics involved as part of this. So C talks about a lot of this stuff in his latest blog post, and so that's definitely worth checking out. Also worth checking out is the webinar that I mentioned earlier. Um, in addition to that, Adam has also written an article here about what um, deployments would look like in the context of multi-tenancy with and without multi-tenancy. So that's um, very interesting to check out. Um, he poses a lot of really interesting scenarios around this. Um, so if you're at all interested um, and you need to have justification of uh, utilizing tenants, um, this is definitely something worth checking out. Tenancy is is really important. And we see that as sort of like a, a, a maturity model for customers who are using Octopus today. We tend to see customers who use Octopus a lot, who are heavy users of Octopus. They gravitate to uh, tenants really quickly and they use tenants a lot. So if you're early on in your uh, exploration and use of Octopus for your deployments, Start looking at tenants. Tenants are a really powerful capability we've built into the platform. It's Some people would argue that it's actually the most per, important capability of Octopus because it gives you so much flexibility. But Ad, um, Ad, Andrew here is actually, uh, Andy has actually written extensively about uh, multi-tenancy. And so that's definitely something that um, we're espousing quite heavily. Um, other posts that we've recently written include um, Articles from Steve talking about practical routes for healthy culture, understanding performance through team types. These and other sort of um, articles are available there. 
Uh, again, this is at octopus.com slash blog. Um, another interesting one that was written was uh, by Bob. Bob wrote um, a, uh, a Bible on basically rollback strategies. So uh, you always get a good sense of what these articles will be like when you see the scroll bar go really, really small in the browser window. So this is a extensive article by Bob talking about rollback strategies. Um, the gist of this is essentially rollback is hard. However, it is supported. If you are looking to roll back on the database level, you should try to avoid that if you can. The train always moves forward, if we, as they say. And so um, this is definitely an article that you want to print out <laughs> or read on your iPad or something um, and uh, really try to understand this because Bob goes through all the nuances of this, especially in the context of Octopus. So there's a lot of stuff here, and uh, I would definitely encourage you to take the time to check that out. So like I said, lots of articles there. Um, we have had um, a lot of really great interviews. Um, we recently had a chat with Matt Ash uh, talking about um, his success utilizing Octopus. So this is part of our Inside DevOps series that we, we interview a, a few folks, uh, talking to them about how they've been successful utilizing uh, and applying DevOps uh, to their organization. So that's definitely worth checking out. Uh, and I've mentioned these previously on other town halls, but our product manager for um, modern deployments, Ian, uh, has talked a little bit about uh, the multi-tenancy, which I'll show right now. So I mentioned this earlier um, that we have this now available for folks who are running Octopus Cloud. So the ability to connect tenants to multiple projects. So I have an instance here of Octopus Deploy. This is my test instance. So there's nothing really um, awesome in here. But the idea is that if you have your tenants, and these are obviously fake tenants. I've just provisioned these very quickly. But the idea here is that I can take one of these tenants now, and I can connect this to multiple projects at once. So this is a really nice capability we recently added. So if I wanted to, I could select these projects that I wish to add this tenant to. If I had hundreds of projects, or hundreds of tenants, rather, of so projects, I could connect those intermittently as well. And then when I click on Next, I can connect these really quickly. What's really nice about this is that it will do so in batches. So you don't have to wait around for this to occur, which is really great. And so um, this is a feature we've recently added. Again, it's up on our roadmap. You can check it out there. But um, take a look at exploring this capability yourself. It's really, really nice because um, you don't have to wait for the UI to complete its, its progress. It will do it in the background as a background task. And we'll connect these projects very, very quickly. Um, we've seen, we've had tests for hundreds of tenants and hundreds of projects, and it works really, really great. So this is the idea is that you can just select the projects you want to connect this tenant to, click on next, and then click on connect, and then you're ready to go, and it'll just fly through that progress. The other feature I wanted to show, which is mentioned on our roadmap here, is the contextual information for target roles. So jumping back to my instance here, I'm going to go into this project. And in particular, I'm going to go into this uh, one here called Backend Database. You can see it's a very simple deployment process. Um, obviously, this is using the Hello World template. I'm going to expand all the features here. And, you know, for folks who have used Octopus Deploy before, you, you know, you'll know this capability quite nice. Um, it's, it's, it's quite easy just to flow through these features. But often you'll get to this where you're, you're running on a particular deployment target. And this is where you go to select a particular role. And you may not remember, like, what was that role again? I don't remember what targets and what environments that role actually has. Well, now if you hover over and click on this, it will flow, fly out this contextual information and show you, the, in particular, the deployment targets that you have and what environments that they can deploy to. Um, so in this instance, I have dev, uh, production, and staging listed for this particular cloud region deployment target. So these and other features are um, now being integrated into Octopus Cloud. And I just wanted to show you uh, what these things look like in the context of Octopus. So um, this is great. This will help you get more visibility into things like roles, into connecting tenants, etc. So these are features that we've recently added. And I strongly encourage you to check those out. So that's now available for folks who are using Octopus Cloud, which is great. Speaking of uh, videos that we've done around tenants, etc., you can check out our home, our, our uh, channel up on YouTube. This is at youtube.com slash octopus deploy. And we've published a ton of videos over the last month. Um, so we've got videos here showcasing things like what is the uh, feature support for Kubernetes. Um, we've done the state of DevOps report as well. Um, so this is where we interviewed um, Michelle Irvin, who's a technical writer at Google, she's part of Dora, and she talked to me about um, the recently uh, released uh, State of DevOps report. Um, this is from the Dora folks, um, and you can download this today. We went through basically the report and kind of went through all the highlights there, which is awesome. 
Uh, we also talked to a variety of product managers. I talked to Kit about customized support in Octopus 2023.3, which was recently shipped back in September. Um, we've done uh, videos like a lap around 2023.3. Bob and I talked about what is latest and greatest in 2023.3. All of this is to basically say that we have a lot of videos up on our YouTube page. So please feel free to subscribe and check it out. We have videos that go up pretty much every week and uh, we feature a lot of capabilities that are inside the product. We also talk about stuff that is outside the product like DevOps and platform engineering, etc. So there's lots of stuff for you to check out there. And we're on a pretty good cadence, so we're publishing all the time. And so I just wanted to point that out as part of this conversation. So feel free to check that out. And then just finally wrapping up again, just wanted to highlight again that Shipped is a uh, is underway. We are uh, ramping up towards uh, November 15th. We are incredibly excited about this. Um, slide templates are built. Speakers are getting ready. Um, we're chomping at the bit, so to speak, to get this done. Uh, we can't wait to tell you about all the stuff that we're working on. You're going to see a lot of really cool demos. You're going to hear a lot of great stories. Um, you're going to see a lot of really cool features inside of Octopus as part of this event. Please feel free to register. Again, this is at octopus.com slash We'd really love to see you there. It's a free event, November 15th, 9 a.m. Central. I hope I've convinced you <laughs> to attend the event. I really appreciate it. And that wraps it up for this month's um, Community Town Hall. I really appreciate your time and attention. Thank you very much for joining. We'll do one next month. We do one every month. And until then, feel free to subscribe to our webinars or to our newsletter. We will let you know about any upcoming events that we have. And until next time. We will see you and uh, on online, and we hope you have many happy deployments. Take care.